about the survey that is important. Number one, <coughs> a survey involves the collection of information from a sample of individuals through their responses to a questionnaire. Survey research is probably the easiest, the most versatile and the cheapest and the fastest way of doing research, of getting data in. So it's very easy and good to do. It's also one that the outcomes of which is highly generalizable because you can get to so many different responses, respondents when you conduct such a research because you don't have to physically go with them. So in general, you can get a huge response rate by doing this right. There are two broad themes in survey design. The one is focusing on cross-sectional studies, and you'll see now when I continue to the next one, the second one focuses on longitudinal studies. Uh, <coughs> cross-sectional, as you know, and normally I say, set your default as cross-sectional unless you think that it's got to be otherwise. But set the default as, as cross-sectional. Cross-sectional means a snapshot in time. So you're looking at what happens now. So it's studying a specific population now. And that now could be like the study I undertook on the journals over two years. That's still a now. Because I wasn't comparing over time. My snapshot in time was the articles over two years. So that's a cross-sectional study, which is one of the survey designs. Then there's another form, which is longitudinal. Under longitudinal, we have different categories of longitudinal, which I'll explain to you now. First one is longitudinal, of course, looks at trends over time, which your study would probably be a good example of, which looks at the um, uh, management students and how they're doing in a specific raw subject. So longitudinal tests over time, there are three different ones that we could use. First one is a trend study, the second one is a cohort study, and the third one is a panel study. So those are the three possibilities that you have. I think more, by and large a cohort study is used the most, most of what I see in people's work, but each one of these come with their pros and cons. So a trend study focuses on the same population, but from that same population you can draw different samples. So there's your first option. Trend study, same population, remember this is now over time. So same population, different samples. Can you see the flaws in that? So the sample one and the sample two may not entirely correspond. But it might be that there's no other way because your sample one disappeared by the time you get to sample two, like students going through university, right? Then a cohort study does what I suggested that she does. It looks at the specific population over time and then it reviews the specific characteristics. So it follows that cohort as they continue through a system, which is what I suggested to her. And then number three is a battle study we use the same population from the same of uh, the same sample from the same population over time. So we have, I can just go back one, cross sectional, which is a snapshot in time. Or you want to compare over time. If you want to compare over time to pick up trends, then you have three choices: a trend study, which looks at the same population and the different samples over time. Or a cohort study where you use a specific population and then you follow a cohort as they continue. And the last one, which is a panel study, where you have the same, same sample from the same population, not the same cohort, which is a group, but a specific sample that you draw. 